I do give and bequeath all my personal effects and all my tangible property, including automobiles owned by me and held for my personal use at the time of my death, as well as all cash on hand and bank accounts in my own name, plus stocks, securities and holdings, including ownership of the sun and real estate properties, both foreign and domestic. Indeed, the entirety of my estate to my mother, Irene Manning. I'm sorry, could, could you read that last part again? Why would he give everything to his mother after all that she did to him? Good question. You gotta bust me out. You want me to bust you out of jail? What's the matter with you? You know better than that. I'm sorry, I'm just surprised, that's all. Our family's in danger. Irene is out. Who knows what she's gonna do? You need to bust me out of here. You need to do it now. I'm sorry. This can't be right. Victor believed that he was Danny and, and Jack and Star's father, and he knew for a fact that he was Sam's father. He loved his children. He would have provided for them. I can only tell you what is here. Well, how about how it got there? There is no way that Victor wrote that will voluntarily. You think I had a hand in this? I am as surprised as anyone. <laughs> Obviously, this is your dirty work. I don't think he heard. Well, Irene is out now. She can hurt anyone she wants to. Yes, and I believe you, Dad. It's the prison break part that I don't like. It's the only way to keep everybody safe. And you're positive that the police can't help with this. They can't give Irene what she wants. I'm the only one who can, and if I don't help her, she's going to kill everyone that I love. You, Taya, Blair, Jack, Danny, even Vicky. That's so noble, Victoria, standing up for the children. It's lovely to see how you are all so concerned for the children. We are. As my son was concerned for me. Oh, your son didn't even know you existed before you showed up here. There is no way that Victor wrote a will leaving everything to you. That's right, because it's a fake, obviously. That's right, it's a fake. And you are a lawyer. Madam. There are copies. Of course. Then I'll be keeping this one. How could Victor leave Todd's things to anybody? You had him declared Todd Manning when he showed up in town in 2003. He was legally Todd Manning when he died. But he wasn't. Victor didn't have the right to Todd's money in the first place. That's not true. Victor Lord Sr.'s will left a fortune to his male heir. He never named Todd. So my son Victor had as much claim to that money as Todd did. Do you know what your mom wants? Yeah, she finally told me. It's a microchip. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't remember ever having one. If I had to believe me, I would give it to her. I would do anything to keep you out of harm's way. Everything okay here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, everything's great, great officer. Thank you so much. Positive, please can't help us. Irene bought her way out of town. Bo didn't want to let her go. The police can't touch her. And who knows what she's done to Louie or to the gun that can prove that I'm not the killer. Okay, so you are sure that Irene made them disappear? Yeah, who else? I gotta keep that psychopath happy. Otherwise, I go to prison and everybody dies. When you put it like that. Yeah, I'm putting it like that. Star, you gotta bust me out of here. Is that right? Because if my brother didn't have the right to give away this money, then what? She'd have to leave and find another victim. Can you tell it's a fake? Oh, Tina, for heaven's sake, just let her look. I'm afraid the outcome will be the same for you, Tina. I'm sorry, but your brothers didn't think very highly of you. And how would you know? Well, I doubt that they would have left you anything. There's no way they would have left it to you, you bitch. You'll be sorry you called me that. Okay, I have a better idea. We'll move everyone. We'll all move to a different location. We'll hire Sean. We'll get more guards. Star, that's what? not going to work, and you know it. Come on. I am not letting you out of my sight. I mean, for all I know, Irene's already got her people watching you. I don't know anything about a prison break. Come on. You're, you're a genius. If anybody can figure this out, you can. Star, please. Daddy needs your help getting out of jail. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, so what's the big plan? 
I don't know. What do you think? I got nothing. I, I haven't done this in a while. And I have. Come on, Shorty. You busted me out of jail when you were like 10. When you were in a moving van, not in a cell. Well, think. <laughs> Could you think faster? Did you just threaten me? That was hurtful for no reason. I have just lost my son. You uh, used Victor his entire life. Look, we have to focus on what's important here. It, it, it's a scam, right? This will was drawn up and executed correctly, but I will be contesting it. Of course, it is your right. Irene, I don't know exactly how you did this, but be aware that we are not a bunch of passive victims that you can manipulate the way you did poor Victor. We are going to fight this. I am the only one who truly knew him and loved him. Is it so hard for you to believe that he would want to take care of me? And as you point out, this is not a room of victims. Both of these women are perfectly able to provide for their children. Uh, you know, there are other people involved here. Besides, that's not the point. He must have been so messed up when he wrote that. Mom, are you okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. And I will make sure you get what's coming to you, okay? Be careful what you wish for. Okay, here's what you're going to do. You're going to fake secondary hypohydrosis, epigastric distress, mandible pain. Right. Right, okay? You're going to seem like you're having ventricular uh, fibrillation. Were you pre-med? I want to be a singer. Like a singing doctor? Can we stay focused, please? Okay. okay? Is he the only guard on duty? He's the only guy I've seen all day. Okay. This might work. You have my notice that we're filing a challenge first thing tomorrow morning. Be that as it may, for tonight, I must execute the terms of the will. Well, what does that mean exactly? He wants to hand over the property to Irene tonight. Well, stop him! Irene, if you had one shred of decency in you, you would give everything over to your son's children. Yeah, and to, uh, you know, loved ones, people he might actually want to give the money to. Victor made it quite clear who he trusts with his fortune. <laughs> These are the stock certificates and the deeds. I am telling you that I will be filing a motion to contest first thing tomorrow morning. And at that point, the court may appoint a special master to secure the property. In the meantime... We're just going to hand everything over to this woman. As of tonight, it is legally hers. I have little choice. Ms. Manning, this belongs to you. In addition to the deeds and the legal documents, there is a list of the assets and where they're located. That would include this property, correct? That is correct. Uh, um, is, is there um, anything you need help with, Mom? Oh, that was fast. Good night. Danny, grab my laptop. Yeah. I'll start writing the motion right now. I'm sorry. But you're trespassing. Excuse me? As Mr. Heller said, as of tonight, everything, including this house, is mine. You and Danielle have to move out. So you hit the floor with all your symptoms? You got them? Right. No. Wait, what are the symptoms? You feel like you have pain here and in your jaw. Faking like you're having a heart attack. You a got heart it? Heart attack? Then I'll call the guards, they'll come in, we'll take them out, and we'll oh, run. Oh, wait a minute. That's your big plan? Come on, I could have come up with better. What are you doing? Why, why, what's the. What did I do? Well, it's for the hyperhidrosis. You're sweating. It's part of the heart attack. I don't think this is gonna work. You really think this is gonna work? You have a better idea? I don't know. Heart attacks are, are for old guys, for people like Clint Buchanan. It's a trick, sweetheart. No, no, are you serious? I see, he's trying to fake us out. No, he's so sick, he's been so, so sick. There's nothing on his record that indicates he had any He has history. been locked up and kept away for eight years. There is no record of him, he needs CPR right now. I'll call a doctor. No, no, there's no time for a doctor. doctor he needs help right now. Do, okay? Please, he is like that, don't let him die. Please. I can't. Oh. 
Looks like Manny's uh, well, sick. I'll, uh, cover me and I'll check him, okay? Uh, thank you. No way, you can't kick them out. Jack, come on. It's gonna be all right. Well, can she really kick us out? Ms. Manning. There will be an injunction barring you from touching any part of this estate before lunchtime tomorrow. My daughter and I will be staying in our home. There is a legal will bequeathing it to me. Which will be confetti by the time I'm done with it. In the meantime, you have to leave. Okay. Irene, be serious. You expect them to move tonight? Not all of them. You have a room here? Yeah. Well, then I hope you'll stay. Why? My Victor was teaching you the business, wasn't he? Well, I'd like you to stay on and run the sun. Continue with your family's legacy. What? Well, why does he get to carry on the family legacy? This young man is the reason that Todd will be going to prison for murdering Victor. He was an eyewitness. I want to thank you. Jack, I would like you to... You! Oh! Listen, Jack, you're not going to have to have anything to do with this woman. We don't want any part of her. Uh, are you all right, Mom? Are you serious? There is no need for violence. Thank you, dear. Uh, I mean, I don't want to lose you again now that I've finally got you back. Tina, are you out of your mind? Have you forgotten what this woman did to you and to your brothers? I, I know, Vicky, but maybe... Maybe there's a reason. I mean, we... We have all done things that we regret. Unbelievable. And I have spent so many years missing you, thinking you were dead because a daughter needs her mother. Were you always this shameless and I just don't remember? Were you always this unfeeling? You know, I don't know why either one of my brothers ever married you. You know, I warned Todd against her. Oh, Tina, really? She loves her family. There is nothing bad about that. <laughs> Tina, I'm so sorry for the trouble that my absence may have caused you. Uh, well, you know, there's still time. I mean, and then and you, I'm sure you're happy to have the opportunity to make it up to me and plenty of time for you to be as good a mother to me as, as Vicky is to her girls. Mom, you are... So right. Family is so important. And I, well, I would really love to have something to remember, Victor Vine. Well, let's see. Oh, my gosh. Look, there's stocks, bonds. I'm sure she's not picky. I can do better than that. You want something to truly remember him. Something of real worth. Oh, that would mean so much to me. It's the perfect thing. Move! Move! Stop! Stop! I have to impress. Don't put your hands up. I will shoot. I will. You don't want to do this, little girl. How about you don't want to repeat that sentence? Take their radios and gag them. What? Go. What am I gagging? I don't know. Think of something. But we don't want them calling for help. Take this stuff. I'll try. It's so good. You are a genius. Mm. Okay, so your next task is to figure out a way to get the microchip and then kill my mother. Here it is, my dear. Take it. Uh, what is it? That was father's ring. I remember that ring. Taya Victor ended up with it when Todd disappeared. The perfect gift for Tina. 
something to remember. Please. Hi, Destiny. Yeah, it, yeah, it's a little crazy over here. Is Nay gonna keep the house? She's gonna do her best. That woman is not gonna get one dime that should go to you kids. Yes, I'm here. Okay, you will have the motion within the hour. Thank you. I can't believe this is happening. Oh, well, you know, join the club, Tina. Come on. Well, do you need anything? No, I'm fine. Who was that? Destiny. She's, you know, she's kind of freaking out about it. You want to go over there? No, I can't. I can't. I can't leave you. Honey, uh, look at all the people I have here. Look who I have. They're, I'm going to be fine. Darling, if she needs anything, we're here for your mother, okay? Okay. Mom. Yeah. Please kick that woman's butt. I will do that. that. And call if you're going to be late, all right? OK, I will. See ya. We need one of those guns. Why? You're free. Come on, let's go. We're dealing with my mother. Uh, I think we need weapons. Guns are what got you here in the first place. Come on. Star, you know, when you grow up to be the world's first famous singing doctor, I'm going to be your biggest fan. What's if I keep you alive first? You have it? Yes, it's exactly what you ordered. But isn't this a little extreme? I warned Todd. He knows what I need from him. Now he needs to know that there will be consequences for failing me. <sighs> I can't believe this is all I got. <laughs> Do you expect me to feel sorry for you? Vicki, you have no idea what it is like out there on your own. You have no idea what it is like to be loyal to your family, so don't pretend. You know, I would have been here for you a long time ago if you hadn't sent me away. Tina, you knew that Tess had taken over. You never said a word. You knew that Tess had locked my daughter, Natalie, in the basement. You never said a word. And Natalie almost died because of you. I had no choice. Of course you had a choice. You did not have to let Tess blackmail you. No, you're right. You're right, I didn't. And I made a mistake. But you know what? In the end, I helped save your daughter's life. And both your daughters are fine now. And you know what? I bet they have kissed and made up a long time ago. Natalie and Jessica will always be true sisters. They will always be able to mend their relationship. Oh. Unlike us, is that what you're trying to say? Well, whose doing is that, Tina? You never wanted to be my sister. You wanted to use me. And I'm sure you're finding as the years go by and the old tricks don't fool people anymore, it's a lot harder to face the day alone, isn't it? You have no idea what my life is like, Vicky. And that was your choice. Now, excuse me. I have to go check on David Vickers. Jack, where did you put her? I'll show you. That should do it. Checked it myself. Good. Pretty soon, money will be no problem for Todd's family. Shame to lose the house, though. Never really did like that, that style. I think it's time to start something new. By tomorrow, I will have all the money and no one left alive to fight me for it. Taya, I can contact the lawyers who probated father's will if that's any help could be down the line. Well, Vicky, whatever it takes, we gotta stop that witch. Todd! You're okay. Well, how did you get out? You're all okay? The kids are okay? Yes, everyone's fine. What? You're out of jail. Yeah, and it, it's, it's an emergency. Irene was released. We know that. She was here. She was here already? Well, she's gone now, but... You sure about that? Todd, why? What's going on? I was worried. But you're okay. You're all okay.